Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is going to be a really elementary video, but somebody doesn't quite understand the object size, which isn't great, is great up right now because there's nothing drawn. And it, so I thought I'd just go over a few things. When you're drawing a square or a rectangle, if you hold down the control button, you get a perfect square. If you do not, you can make it whatever size you want. Now here's the key with this. This is locked or unlocked. This is your lock ratio. Let's make this 20, and it's not going to change this number here. Okay, let's make this 10, and it's not going to change the 20. Now, if you lock this, and you make this 25, it's going to increase it the exact equal amount of size. Now, let's say you've made a box, and you're happy with it, but you've got some percentage. You really want to make it a percentage smaller, but you can't really, well, you can, but you have to figure out the math. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in, and you've got a new box that size. And then left click, right click, and you're back to 100. Let's make it 80% on all directions. And now you've got it 80% and it's 20 by 10. Or you could make it 50%. So you could do percentage. One thing I always like, let's make this a round number. Let's make it 20. Let's unlock this, 20 by 10. Let's make, let's say if we need a 20 and 5 eighths. Well, I know from enough that it's 20.625. And now that's 20 and 5 eighths inches. But if you don't know that off the top of your head or you don't have a chart, you can type in, don't put in the dot, just put in a space, type in five forward slash eight, and it's gonna come up with that six two five because that's an eighth of an inch. It's for five eighths of an inch. Same thing on here, we can back up, take away the, the, the period, put a space, five forward slash eight, and you're gonna have six two five. Doesn't matter what you put in, six space, uh, one, two, five, or an eighth of an inch. So you type in one forward slash eighth and you get one, two, five. And now while we're talking, the lock is the key. It's gonna change both dimensions. Same thing as here. With this locked, if you change one of these dimensions, you're gonna change all four of the rounded corners. Let's back up here and unlock this. And then let's change this to two. It's just gonna change this top left corner. So this is top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. So we're gonna make this one two inches and you can have your two corners rounded. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.